Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Normalish Software. I'm Pharaoh, and I'm coming at you with a brand new Unreal Engine C++ tutorial series where we'll go over the basics of the engine, and as time goes on, hopefully we'll start developing some really cool mechanics. This is a series that is geared towards people who are already sort of familiar with C++, so if you aren't comfortable with the concepts of classes, functions, and pointers, there's a link in the description to get some learning resources for you. And since today is episode one, we're just going to be talking about uh, data types, which is one of the most important concepts uh, in Unreal Engine uh, that's different from normal C++. Um, a lot of the data types that we have in regular C++ are available. Um, however, a lot of STL containers are not. So we'll talk about that a little bit. Um, don't necessarily worry about following me step for step. Uh, this isn't going to be... Um, something that you necessarily need to follow along with. Uh, just, just pay attention and as we go on, uh, we'll start developing some more things uh, in later videos. All right, so here I'm just in a, in a class that I created. Um, nothing special, there's nothing in here, just a constructor and a destructor. Um, and let's just jump into it. Now when I say that a data type is fully supported in Unreal Engine, that means that all systems within the engine, so physics, particle systems, and especially blueprints, utilize it to some capacity. Now if you're unfamiliar, blueprints is a visual scripting language um, that works in tandem with C++ to control the game's logic um, and different functionalities within the engine. It's uh, used mainly, at least I use it mainly, um, as a prototyping tool, and I'm aware that other teams use it um, to allow non-programmers, so artists and designers, to get some logic into the game um, so that programmers who are maybe working on other tools or other systems can be uh, working on those things while gameplay logic can still be written. Um, all other data types um, are restricted in the engine to only work within C++ code. So only if it says that it's fully supported will it work in Blueprints and C++. All other, um, all other data types will work only in C++ code um, and will not work in Blueprints. And just a disclaimer, this is not an exhaustive list of all the data types in Unreal, uh, just the most commonly used. All right, so let's keep going. Um, we've got the Boolean, um, that'll keep uh, keep track of different things, um, Boolean flags uh, mainly. Uh, we've got unsigned integers, signed integers um, of different sizes. We've got floats, we've got doubles, we've got an F vector, uh, an F rotator, F string, an actor, and a T array. Now I'm going to go over what all these are, um, just in case you're unaware. So an unsigned integer and an integer um, I use unsigned integers almost never. Um, I almost only use int32 um, because it is the only one of these integer classes that is fully supported in Unreal Engine 4. So by that I mean that um, when you, if you were to use blueprints and you needed um, an, an integer for the ammo that's left in a magazine example uh, in a first person shooter, then you, blueprints would default to using int32. Uh, floats and doubles. Um, floats are, once again, fully supported in Unreal Engine 4, while doubles are not. Doubles are only used for C++. Um, and for this reason, I pretty much only stick with floats because a lot of values, uh, like player health, for example, when I would tie it in with a HUD, so if I were to create a health bar, I'd want to use the float or cast it to a float from a double. Um, but a lot of times the precision isn't necessary, um, at least in games programming. That's why uh, for, uh, for an example here, for a double, I use the distance from the sun. Um, for, for larger values, you'd of course want to use um, something that, that has a little bit more high precision. Moving on down to F vector. F vector is um, going to be a mathematical vector with X, Y, and Z components. 
um, and you'll use um, locations, uh, you use it for sizes, for scales, um, and different sort of things like that. Um, it's pretty simple uh, if you understand the concept of uh, mathematical vectors where we've got operations such as uh, we've got operations such as the dot product, we've got the cross product, um, and just other variants of that um, that we have to our disposal in the Unreal Engine. Next up is the F rotator, which is going to be used in almost exactly the same way as the F vector. Um, except we have roll, pitch, and yaw stored in degrees, and those degree values are going to be floats. Fully supported in Unreal Engine 4, um, it's a special container, just like the F vector is, um, that is actually created by Epic Games, and we're going to use that to store rotation data for different types of objects. Next is F string. So for here, I've got the player name and it's uh, Epic's implementation of standard string, and it is fully supported in Unreal throughout the entire engine. Um, we're gonna use this for different names, different values, and, and things like that within the engine so we can know the names of objects and keep track of things like that. So an actor. An actor is um, basically anything that can be placed in the world, um, whether that be via uh, spawning or whether they're alive at the beginning of the game. So if you were to spawn a bullet, it would most likely be um, of the class actor. And then finally we have the T array. Uh, the T array is going to be a dynamically allocated array that is very similar in function to standard vector, if you're familiar with that. Um, here I've got it storing a actor so the syntax is pretty much exactly the same as a uh, standard vector would be. Um, and here it's just holding all power-ups, like if you were to have a twin stick shooter with different power-ups. And just a note, auto, the auto keyword, is usable in Unreal Engine. However, it is not recommended for use um, by Epic Games. And you can see all of their coding standards and, and what they do. Um, I have a link to it in the video description. And uh, here it is right here. We're gonna take a look at the auto keyword. Um, and basically they just say you should not use auto in C++. Um, I use it for range base four all the time, which is a C++ 11 and up concept. But other than that, uh, that's pretty much the only time that they recommend the auto, auto is used, um, just because of different type deduction algorithms that they use might not be the same as what GCC or Clang might use. All right, and just, just for a recap, these are all of the fully supported uh, all of the fully supported data types in Unreal Engine that can be used uh, between C++ and Blueprints. So we've got the Boolean, we've got int32, which is going to be the type def that they created for the standard int. We've got float, which is a floating point number. Uh, F vector, which is our 3D space uh, with XYZ components that uses floating point precision. F rotator, which stores pitch, yaw, and roll in floats. Uh, F string, which is their dynamically sizable string. An actor, which is anything that can be placed or spawned within the world. And finally, the T array, which is going to be a dynamically allocated array uh, that is very similar to standard vector, as I said before. And hopefully that is going to be some use. That'll be it for this episode. Next episode, I believe we will be going over input action and input access. So how we're going to be using C++ in Unreal Engine. Um, to allow the player to do stuff. All right, so I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.